Greetings friends around the world. This is Bible News Prophecy Program. My name is Alexander Sasevich and you have certainly noticed that I did not wish you Happy New Year because as far as we understand the Bible, this is not really the new year. January the 1st is not the new year. The new year, according to the scriptures and revelation from God, starts in spring. That will be March, April when the life when there is life all over the place, when life is coming <laughs> coming to its full blossom, rather than in the middle of totally dead winter. So, greetings and welcome to uh, one of the first broadcasts we're having in 2023 calendar year. Now, you may wonder what God has in store for this year for us, and uh, what might be the prophesied events from the scripture that we should be that should occupy our attention and that we should keep in mind well there are 23 items to watch in this calendar year and i might mention only half of them in this program for the sake of time but in any case the bible teaches friends in revelation 19:10, worship god for the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy people who discount prophecy are not understanding the bible Prophecy is also a key in understanding why Jesus is the Messiah. And uh, you can, for that, look for our online book, Proof Jesus is the Messiah. In Ghana, believe it or not, the police have been trying to ban ministers from discussing prophecies and predictions. Police in Ghana have warned faith leaders against making traditional New Year prophecies, which can cause fear, anxiety, and death. <laughs> you see, the right of freedom of worship must not violate the rights of others, the police said in a statement. Millions of Christians often gather in churches to hear their pastors make proclamations about the new year. Ghanaian lawyer Sami Darko said that the police order was illegal. It is not even up for debate or interpretation by the highest court of Ghana. No law in Ghana grants the police administration any powers to regulate prophecies in the country, he wrote. And... Uh, <laughs> Interesting case in country. Just to mention that Mr. Darko told the BBC that the police lost a case earlier this year against a pastor who had been charged for allegedly making an alarmist prophecy about a celebrity musician being shot. In any case, in Ghana the police said they had adopted 27 December as Prophecy Communication Compliance Day and they only want smooth things preached as the as is prophesied in the book of Isaiah. And sadly, friends, many do not want to hear the prophetic messages of Scripture, but that was expected. Why? Because Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8, people saying to the prophets, including the Isaiah, the one that I mentioned, Isaiah, now go write it before them on a tablet and note it on a scroll, that it may be for time to come forever and ever, says God to Isaiah, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children who will not hear the law of the Lord, who say to the seers, do not see, and to the prophets, do not prophesy to us right things, speak to us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get out of the way, turn aside from the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's in Isaiah 30 and uh, verse 8 through 11. Then in Micah chapter 2 verse 6, don't say such things, the people respond. Don't prophesy like that. Such disasters will never come our way. Well, these are the end time prophecies, friends. But we, who are dedicated to Bible prophecy indeed, in this program, despite having a significant significance and present even in Ghana, we believe that we are still to teach about prophecies and predictions. So, here are about 23 things that... Uh, Prophetically, we are to watch in 2023. In Mark chapter 13, verse 37, and in the Gospel of Luke 21, 36, Jesus tells us and all of his followers to watch world events that will precede his coming. So, uh, scoffers, the first thing to watch in 2023, scoffers in the last days. Then, morality prophecies being fulfilled about erosion of moral values. The third one, media, internet, and other censorship. We have been experiencing that in the past years. We are being shadow banned and we are being, <coughs> we are being even removed from the public platforms for speaking the truth. The fifth thing, the fifth, uh, 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 thing, the fifth point to take in mind in 2023 would be earthquakes. 
The sixth one, the white horse of the apocalypse. The white horse being religious deception. The seventh one, strife and the red horse of war. The eighth one, trade. And how it all goes, we have already seen because of this conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The ninth one, we are to watch for the deal of Daniel 9.27, which had come to pass if there will be a regional, once there will be a regional nuclear war in the Middle East. Uh, it'll be, it'll be the war between the state of Israel, uh, the state of Iran, and Syria being Iran's closest ally. The tenth point is knowledge increasing. You see, it keeps increasing. Daniel said that the knowledge will increase. The knowledge keeps increasing all the time, year after year. The eleventh one is debt. As you might have noticed, the United States has sunk into a deeper debt uh, under the administration of Joseph Biden. The twelfth one, U.S. dollar's dominance will decrease. And we can see that already because there are rumors that the uh, uh, petrol and gas and uh, and oil are going to be uh, being paid in various uh, national currencies rather than in dollar. The third item is CBDCs and 666, preparation for the 666 society. Basically, it will be a cashless society so that uh, very easily powers to be could possibly control buying and selling. Then the 14th item will be gold. As you can well imagine, the price of gold is going to continue to be very relevant. The fifth one will be unrest, terror, and the dividing of the United States of America. One of the curses that God says in uh, Leviticus chapter 26 in Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 26 and 27 and 28, will be terror. God is going to allow terror among you. We have seen already several terrorist or killings and, and, and killing sprees, they just resemble the terrorist attacks. The 16th point will be Europe will work to reorganize, reorganize territorial. Europe has been for, well, I'm speaking from Europe, for decades Europe has been now talking about reorganizing and in, into a, a community of regions. Uh, and uh, it will be probably reorganized and divided into various bigger regions so that each region would have its own kind of sovereignty and its own say in whatever uh, common decision they have to make. The 17th point, friends, will be that Europe will have a great army for years. Only this voice for years in Europe and several others around the world have been telling you the truth about the formation of the European army led by Germany. Indeed, as soon as the United Kingdom left the European Union, the Germans pulled out of their drawers the plan for the formation of the European Army because Germany still dreams about becoming once a great, 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 great European Empire like the Roman, old Roman Empire and Europe dreams about having a great dominance over the rest of the world. And one way to achieve that would be indeed to form a huge European army. It is on the way. Be not deceived and do not say, oh, it cannot be. Yes, it can be and it will be. Europe will have a great army. Eighteenth point, steps towards the formation of the King of the South will occur. King of the South will be the Arab Confederation. The Arab Confederation, but it needs to have a strong leader. We are going to see who is going to be the leader, which country of the Arab world is going to be the leader of this Arab Confederation. It's prophesied in the book of Daniel that eventually it's going to uh, have to, uh, to get into conflict with this European coming army and European coming empire. Uh, my, my feeling is that from what I could read in the scriptures that Egypt would most likely be selected to be the leader of this Arab Confederation, but nevertheless, it's only a speculation, it's not a dogma, I'm just saying it as a possibility, but please, could you could you read the Bible and, and, and study the Bible and, and get over one gross error that some people are preaching, that Turkey is supposed to be the, uh, the beast, uh, the beast of Revelation 13, no, it will not be Turkey, Turkey has nothing to do with that. Uh, with being the beast, and so please overcome that silly, that silly and biblically unfounded idea. Uh, the nineteenth point to watch for is the time of the Gentiles will lead to Armageddon. 
And indeed, in my uh, latest broadcast about China and Russia increasing their co- military cooperation, I refer also to Armageddon, Arnd Megiddo, the Valley of uh, Fate, as it says in the book of Joel. So the time of Genesis will lead to that. It doesn't mean that this year we are going to see Armageddon. No, no, I'm just saying it is leading to that. The point number 20 is Jews are ready to restore the Old Testament sacrifices. They don't even need a temple for that, but even if they build a temple, that'll be fine. Nevertheless, according to the prophecies, they can start sacrificing on an altar without even having a temple. So keep that in mind. If, you know, they might just, uh, they're just ready for it. They might just resume those Old Testament prophecies. Some people say, well, how can it? Because Jesus Christ is the, well, Jews do not believe in Jesus Christ as the Messiah. And therefore they are still, I've been trying to explain to people that their willingness to sacrifice is to basically complete in the state that they've got now the Jewish state now to complete their identity and fulfill and some kind of round up their identity is what needs to be is, what needs to be is to have the sacrifices and very well they might even have the temple or even may resume sacrifices without the temple. Point 21st, totalitarian steps all over the world. We have seen it already this year how it goes and in the previous years. Totalitarian steps will continue and yes, yes, don't be surprised. Even in your most cherished democracies, Anglo-Saxon world, because you think that those are the most democratic uh, countries in the world, sadly totalitarian steps might might indeed be taken. I've just watched on the Serbian national TV uh, on this January the 1st, uh, the, 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 the movie Edward Stone, uh, 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 Oliver Stone's movie Edward, about Edward Stone, Snow, uh, Snowden was shown, and it is incredible what the governments, including the US government, can come up with. <laughs> I've learned that PRISM was the program through which they actually surveilled all of our public communication, emails, including Skype, etc., etc. Expect more totalitarian steps and expect that the biblical content, content will be most likely removed, shadow banned on public platforms. Uh, point 22nd, preparation for the short work. Short work, I refer to that one in, uh, in, uh, the, uh, broadcast about the dreams, the dream that Lo, uh, Loma Dylan Armstrong had in the last century, and that was a dream about the Philadelphia Works, so preparations are going to continue, and they keep, they have been, they have been underway in the last several years, and the 23rd and the last, uh, last point to keep in mind and watch in this year will be fulfillment of Matthew 24, 14 and Matthew 28, Verse 19 and 20. Uh, there are prophetic scriptures in many parts of the, of, of the Bible. In Second Timothy, in Habakkuk, in Amos, Daniel, Matthew, Mark, Romans, Revelation, Isaiah, Second Corinthians, even Psalms. And uh, those scriptures including those that must be fulfilled before the start of the Great Tribulation. And there are others that also need to be fulfilled before Jesus Christ returns, friends. And when are some prophetic events expected and not expected to be fulfilled? Well, there will be certainly, uh, that will be topic of our programs in the year, in this coming year. Uh, also, there are many biblical items and tie, and we can tie with world events that happen and are in process of happening. So, 23 things to prophetically watch in 2023 is also, a uh, title of a sermon video put out by Dr. Bob Thiel, so you can look for it on online, 23 things to prophetically watch in 2023. And uh, Jesus Christ told us to always be vigilant, to watch. And so with that message indeed, until the next time, goodbye friends. <laughs>